Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel, The Affairs of Two Needles. I am your host, Jody, and where we talk about anything yarn, knitting, and uh, crocheting related. Uh, maybe with a little bit of other crafts in, in between. I do do a lot of diamond art, so we'll probably have to throw some of that in there too. So I have some exciting things to show to you. Well, I know to me it's exciting. Um, this is my very first first episode, so I'm excited about that. I'm a little bit nervous though, because I can tend to be a little bit camera shy. So, but I know I can get through this. So yeah, um, I got a bunch of yarn hauls from um, Mary Maxim. I'm sort of like a Mary Maxim fan. So I love their yarns, they're really great. And I also belong to their crochet and their needle, um, the month club, which is really great. Um, if you saw my short, the last one, uh, last video I did, which was a short video, um, I was showing you the January Mary Maxim, which was a crocheted bag. Um, that turned out really pretty and the yarn was so lovely to work with. I'm uh, not really quite sure um, what type of yarn it was, but I know it was like a Turkish yarn. So, but here's the bag that I finished. It was really nice. I mean, you don't really necessarily have to follow the pattern, but um, I, I followed it all the way through except for the handles. The handles um, I saw had these, um, were created a little bit different, but I like to single crochet them so you're holding it better. Not sure what I'm gonna use with it yet, but I'm pretty sure I'll use something. It's really nice and, and big. I'm sure I can put my yarns or my needles in that. We'll have to wait and see. So I don't know if anybody belongs to Mary Maxim, um, but if you do, I just got the um, new knitting and the new crocheting um, month of the club. Um, so if you are you didn't receive yours yet, you might wanna close your eyes because I'm gonna give a spoiler. <laughs> so the, the, I got the first crochet for Mary Maxim for our crochet, um, for the crocheting month. It's going to be the Smitten Kitten Pillow, which I thought was really cool. It's like size 15 um, by 13. It's really cute. Look at it. That's what comes in it. And they give you like really a lot of nice yarn to go with it. So I haven't opened it up yet. Can't wait to see what the yarn is like. I know they give you like a little skein, a little thing of black. A black, I'm sure that's for the eyes and the nose and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, this looks really looks really cute. We'll have to see what it, how the crocheting turns out. The uh, yarn looks really nice. They they give me three balls of the. It looks like Red Heart, and it is the Hagu or Hagu yarn. Very thick. It looks like it's about, this one says lot. I guess that's the, no, violet is the color of it. So it's a five weight yarn. So yeah, it looks like it is, it says machine wash general cycle. So yeah, it's like, a, not sure, not sure. It looks almost like it would be, it doesn't really say what it is, but all as I know, it's a five weight. Oh, it's 70% acrylic and 30% nylon. Yep, that's what it is, um, and violet. So that ought to be really neat. That should be a really nice craft for me to, to start. Um, right now I'm working on the knitting one, which is really neat. They gave me some really neat yarns for that one. And that one looks like it's gonna be one of those, uh, like a, a circular scarf. Do I have it here? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, this is what the pattern looks like. I think out of the yarn, you can get like two different, this is the knitting one. This is the neck warmers. And I think you can get two different ones out. They have one with just the crochet or with just the knitting, which is pearl and knit, but you're doing it in the back loop which is really cool. I've never really tried that before with the knitting. Um, sometimes these, these directions, I think, in the knitting instructions can be a little bit difficult. 
but we'll see how they do. You can probably get two out of the yarn. Like here's one, this one here has the triangular one. So yeah, either way, I don't know if I'm gonna attempt the triangular one, it's a different, different type. But this yarn is really neat. This is what they give you here. It looks like it's the anti-pill stripes, the Mary Maxim. Um, it's a three lightweight yarn. And this one here doesn't, I don't know if it's going to, oh yeah, it's um, anti-pill acrylic. So you get about seven ounces of this. It's also made in Turkey. I sort of like Turkey, the Turkish yarns because there are, some of them are really nice to work with. At least I found that they're nice to work with, especially if you're knitting something great. Um, but the colors are so pretty. Aren't the colors pretty? This one's, it just says grays. It doesn't really give you grays. It looks like it's a lot of dark grays, some purple grays in there, some white. It's really pretty. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be working on. I'll, I've been working on that. Um, it's a, it's a neat pattern, but um, sometimes I take these and I sometimes don't follow, to be honest with you. I don't normally follow the pattern. I sort of sometimes make it my own, which is a good thing. Good thing for me um, because I don't like to be the same sometimes of everybody else. Um, I'm also doing another project, which is a crocheting project. I vowed that before I would die, I would make all everyone in my family an afghan. And I have about three more afghans, I believe, that I'm going to have to make. And right now I'm working on my nephews, and he loves Ohio State. He's a major Ohio State fan. I'm sorry for all of you that you're not. That's not. But this is an afghan here that I just started and it's with all the Ohio State covers, and I'm doing it in, in colors, and I'm doing it in the wave, the wave stitch. Um, it's really, it's quick going, it's quick moving. All it is really is single, half double, double, and triple crochets. That's it, and you're just repeating yourself. So, you know, I usually turn on a good a good season, guy go usually go on to Netflix or somewhere, turn on a good um, seasonal program. That's what I watch. Like you, have anybody seen you yet? That's a good one to watch. The yarns, the, the color of the yarns and the type of yarn that I'm using on that one is just um, the Karen, and I buy the pounders for that. That way then I'm not always running back and forth getting yarn. Um, it's a four weight, it's a medium four weight, and it's 100% acrylic. So this one here is medium gray and it's a mix. So that's the Karen is what I'm using there. I'm also using for the maroon, I have the, um, these are 16 ounces actually. Again, a four weight. This one here is called, um, looks like Claret is what it says. So that's a one pound. This yarn's okay to work with. Sometimes it splits on me. I guess it depends on the cro crocheting needle that you're using too. Um, the other one, the other two that I have, of course, this is just the white um, that I'm using too. This is also the four weight, 100% acrylic. Get 16 ounces in that too. Um, and just then the black. And the black is what I'm using here. So yeah, um, I think it's going to be, they give you, and what I like about these too, if anybody's ever worked with these yarns and you know you take the backs off, they always give you patterns. I've never really made anything with the patterns, but I do collect patterns like if, because I like to go ahead and I I am such a yarnaholic. I have so much yarn, it's, it's horrible. So I have to try to go ahead and um, somehow organize my yarn so that I can go ahead and see what I have. It's crazy the yarn that I have. So, but the Mary Maxim is really great. I got a yarn haul from them. Actually, I put in two, two orders for their mystery boxes. And if you've never done mystery boxes before, they're great. Sometimes you get some good yarn, sometimes not. The yarns that I don't like, I usually donate or I give away. The yarns that I like, I usually keep. So I actually did a yarn haul um, I think it was last week it came and honestly now don't click off i'm going to step step away real quick right here i'm going to show you what i got in these boxes so this was my yarn haul that i got last week and it's it's really nice i mean they get and this i think it only costs like 30 dollars 
for the yarn haul, but it's really nice. This one here is sock yarn. And what's nice about it, when you do their mystery yarns, they actually give you patterns with it. And they don't give you one pattern, they'll give you a few patterns. So this one here, they give you, okay, they'll give you, they give you a knitting pattern and they give you a crochet pattern, pattern too. So it's really cute. Like this one here is, um, you get, you know, this one here is for lace socks, this pattern here, which is nice. And then also this one, you get some baby socks. I think they're so cute. The baby socks, you get some patterns on the back too. I mean, and the ones that you can wear if you ever get a pedicure. You know, the little, you can use those with your flip-flops and get a nice pedicure when it's cold out. Can you tell? That's what I do for a living. Pedicure, manicures, facials. Yeah, that's me. So, but the yarn, the yarn that they give you is really nice. This is the sock yarn that they give you. And this is what came with them. One, two, three, four five balls of yarn in this packet right here that came with that came with the mystery box that i got which is right here and they give you some really nice yarn and again patterns patterns for 30 bucks you can't beat it i mean and you don't know what you're getting and that's what i like about these mystery yarns you have no or these mystery yeah the mystery boxes you have no idea what you're getting so I actually found out, you know, I didn't find out about this on my own. I actually watch a channel called Bag O' Day Crochet. If you haven't watched her, go watch her. She's great. She has over a thousand, a thousand patterns that you can choose from. She has an Etsy shop too. I love her. Crystal is her name. And she does a lot of great work. But she does a lot with yarn too. So she gets a lot of different yarns. Yeah, watch Crystal. She's great. The other one that I also watch too that does a lot of yarn hauls and does a lot of different things um, is, is Ross from Smell, um, I think it Smells Like Yarn. Yeah, you'll have to check out his channel too. I watch a lot of podcasts on here and I just like, I love it because I learn a lot, you know, especially when it comes to crocheting. This is one here. This is Karen Simply Soft. Um, I made my husband a hat out of this one, and it turned out pretty good. It was a nice yarn to work with. Um, I don't have an open roll, but this one here is, I'm not sure, it doesn't really, it's by Yarns, Yarn Inspirations. It's five ounces. It's 100% acrylic. It's a medium four weight. So, yeah, I mean, it's nice. It doesn't really tell you the color. To me, it's like a teal gray and white, but it made a really nice hat, really nice hat, really pretty. And the other one was a shawl yarn. I've never worked with shawl yarn before, so it's really thin and fine. Um, this is Mary Maxim's. It looks like it's cotton, and they gave me two colors of this one. So. Yeah, this one's pure cotton. So I'm not sure, I mean, with pure cotton, a sh uh, it's a really nice yarn, it's real thin. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna crochet or knit with that one yet, we'll wait and see. But here again, they don't really give you a pattern for that, you know, but I'm sure if um, I can figure something out. Um, and then they gave me some six weight, and this one here is Burnett, it's a wool up. So the wool up, this one would make a nice, really nice hat or scarf. Um, that's six ounces of that. So they gave you two of those in there. That's a lot of yarn, like they gave you two of those. And then they also gave me some sock yarn. This one's here, a perfect pair. This one here is a one, it's a super fine one. It looks like almost like a fingering weight, basically. Um, this one is, they give you 450 yards. It's really pretty. Um, yeah, nice color too. So they give you that. I think they only gave me one of those. I'm not really sure. Yeah. And then they gave me, I think this is so pretty. Then they gave me four of these. It's the Mary Maxim Glitter, Glitter Yarn. It's a medium weight. It's a four, four weight. So that's really, it's really, that's a pretty one. That's gonna make a really nice hat or maybe a sweater. You could probably make a really nice um, thin sweater out of that one. I do like that one a lot. 
Um, yeah, that one there it says it's 90% acrylic and 3% other, whatever that other could be. So really pretty, but they gave me four of those. So I'm not quite sure yet what I'll be doing with all of these, but I'm sure I'll find something to do. Um, I also got another bag and they gave me, the other bag, they gave me some washcloth yarn in that. So it's 100% cotton. I'm sure I can probably, um, if I don't make washcloths out of it, I'll find something else to do. But washcloths, I think I was thinking about maybe making them. And those would make great little um, Christmas gifts this year. I always try to find something nice to do for um, the co-workers that I work with. So if any co-workers are watching this, you probably know that you're going to get a washcloth for Christmas for Christmas this year. So, but yeah, Mary Maxim. That is um, my yarn haul from them and my um, month of the, and uh, my um, knitting and crocheting um, month club. The monthly club is nice with Mary Maxim if you do crochet or knit a lot. Um, when you first sign up, I think the first kit is $9, but after that, then they'll charge you. Then the kit becomes $16 with a $4 shipping. It's not that expensive. I think it's $21 a month. And, you know, so I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Um, it gives me something to do. Keeps my, my hands going anyway. But, yeah. Now, the sweater that I have won today, the sweater is nice. Like I said, I watch a girl. That, her This pattern, I can't claim it as my own. I made it a little bit long, a little bit baggy, um, but I love it. And I got the pattern from, um, Alt, it's, she's called Alt Knots, and she does a lot of really great different types of cardigans and um, um, sweaters and hats. Definitely check her out. She's fun to watch. Besides Alt Knots that I watch, I also watch uh, another podcast called um, Needles at the Ready. That's with Kevin and Ray really great they have a lot of great information a lot of different yarns that they do a lot of different projects they do a lot from stephen west and a lot of different other artists out there with their a lot of patterns they make a lot of sweaters hats shawls really great guys really interesting um really interesting to watch them also um and then also the grocery girls i love to watch the grocery girls they're two sisters and they give out a lot of great information also. So, and yeah. So that's about what I watch um, and what I, the, the projects that I'm doing. Um, probably in about two weeks, hopefully I can go ahead and show you everything that I have finished. Some things that, you know, I may have started. Um, maybe get a little bit more into detail about a lot of other things. I'm not sure what quite yet what to talk about, but I'm sure with this being my very first um, episode, I'm sure I'll find something to, to discuss. Thank you everyone for watching my channel. And remember, put those needles in the air and the hooks in the yarn and let's create something, something wonderful and beautiful. Blessings to you all. See you next time.